Hi everyone, I'm Albert Tricasso of Humanity Matters. And as you know, the episode and my show is called Humanity Matters. Well, let me tell you something. At the end of every episode, except for the latest one, I usually say remember that you and humanity really does matter. I have to be honest with you. If we want to be honest, for the most part, humanity doesn't matter. For the most part, most part, people act as if life doesn't matter. That's the reality of it. So people like myself, and let's say a motivational speaker, people who talk about positive lifestyles and what have you, we know that the odds are extremely high. The reality is that the majority of people on this planet have negative thoughts and do very inhumane things. But not just humanity matters, animals matter. And the reality is that even though it's an imposs- almost near impossible task, what I am doing and people like Tony Robbins and other people like that that are trying to give you a positive, uplifting kind of way of lifestyle and to be a certain way, to be a certain kind of person, we know it's an uphill battle. We know it's nearly impossible. Heck, religion's been around how, how long now? Three, four thousand years, Jesus himself was on the on the planet Earth, and what happened to him? But let me ask you a question. Before I get into the meat and potatoes, don't you want to live in a better world? And I know I don't pronounce it correctly, but don't you want to be on a better planet? So yeah, it may be a near impossible task, but guess what? It can happen, it will happen, that the great change will come. Now, humanity is very inhumane to man. Humanity also is extraordinarily inhumane to every other species on the planet. And I'm not too happy with all this light in my face, but I love the sun, so hey, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Now, let me get back to the business at hand. Let me tell you something else. Something very disturbing happened to me about a week ago. Something that had me so angry, I couldn't put it on YouTube. The words I was saying, the words I was thinking, pissed me off to a degree that doesn't usually happen. What made me so upset? It's simple. The name of this video title is Do Not Kill Them. That's a pretty controversial, uh, what would you call it, title? Do not kill them. So let me tell you what happened. First of all, let me also say that pigeons routinely defecate on my sidewalks, on my vehicle. I've had pigeons do messes just about everywhere. And yet, never once in my life, when they messed up my car or vehicle, never once did I say, you know what, I think I'm going to let them die. Never once did I say, let's kill those pigeons. No, nope, didn't do that. But for the record, yeah, I do get mad when they mess up my vehicle. I'm like, oh, you sons of beaches. Beaches ain't the word either. Okay, let's, let's be honest. Okay, but I don't think, you know, I would like to shoot some of those pigeons. I'd like to kill them. I, I don't think that. Well, let me tell you what pissed me off. And this time, even though I could be risking my financial future, I'm going to throw it down. I was at the Giant Eagle grocery store chain which is owned by a company in Pittsburgh, PA, in the United States of America. I was at a giant eagle at the waterfront 
I let the helicopter go over. I was at a giant eagle at the waterfront in Homestead and West, I mean, excuse me, Homestead slash Munhall in those communities. A giant eagle at the waterfront. And you know what I saw? I saw a bag of crackers in the middle of the street where all these vehicles were going and pigeons right in the middle of the street where they could get killed. So somebody had either dropped or deliberately placed these crackers in a bag in the middle of the street. Now, was it delivered? I don't know. Somebody might have just lost them. But what is pissing me off? Now keep in mind, these pigeons were almost getting run over consistently. It was the main part of the drive at the Giant Eagle at the waterfront in Homestead, Pennsylvania. Okay. And you might say, well, who gives a fudge? You might think that. But here's the thing. Just because pigeons are annoying, just because, quote unquote, they may even bring disease, doesn't give human beings the right to just kill them off. And now what made me so mad was, it was in the middle of the street and people were out there waiting for a bus or employees taking their break or even a security guard taking his break, looking right at it and not giving a damn. They did not care. If we are that callous, that uncaring about other lives, then what in the hell makes you think, excuse my language, but I tell it like it is. See, this is Italian, Albert, now. Say, Mr. Humanity, Albert, this is Italian, gonna get in your face, Albert. What in the hell makes you think, excuse my language, what in the hell makes you think that if your kid gets hurt, your kid gets killed, you get hurt or killed, anybody's going to give a rat's ass about you. Why should they? If we don't care about these animals, then who should care about us? And every one of those people witnessed this, not one of them decided to say, you know, let me go talk to the manager, see if they can sweep it up or put it in the grass where it's safe. That's all they had to do. Just put it in the grass where it's safe. But no, they sat there texting or ignoring it or watching these pigeons almost get killed. Get killed. And some of them were laughing and smiling. Oh, and maybe some pigeons will die in front of me today. Well, let me tell you something, people. It's sick. It's disgusting. It's disgraceful. So you might be thinking, well, yeah, well, I bet your ass didn't do nothing. Excuse my language. I'm going to call you as I see him. But your behind didn't do nothing. Well, guess what? I did because I love people and animals. What did I do? Well, I got, I happen to have a pair of working gloves in my vehicle. So I picked up the working gloves. I got the bag of crushed crackers. I picked them up and I took it to the grass and I poured the crackers into the grass, on the grass, and the pigeons were still getting the part that I couldn't sweep up because I didn't have a broom. But at least they were able to eventually, maybe they could figure out, hey, let's go on the grass. There's more there and it's safer. So, okay. So I moved it which was the honorable and frankly humane thing to do. But I didn't stop there. I had Annette, my co-host of Humanity Matters. I actually had her go in and talk to the manager and ask them to sweep it up. The manager of the Giant Eagle at the waterfront in Homestead in Munhall, Pennsylvania, in the United States, in the Commonwealth State of Pennsylvania. You know what they did? They said, oh yeah, we'll go get sweep it up. So I waited, they never came out. They never swept it up. So they were okay, they were all right, apparently, with these animals getting killed right in the middle of the street. Now mind you, 
Okay, it's disgusting. But what about if your kids, little two-year-olds or three-year-olds or five-year-olds or six-year-olds, happen to see all those dead animals? Do you think that's a pretty sight? So, you know what? They didn't do a damn thing at the Giant Eagle. And I don't really want to go there anytime soon. But I want all of you in Pittsburgh, and I will try to get the information before I actually upload this. I'm going to try to get their phone number and maybe their address. I want you to email them. Well, I probably want to email. I want you to call them and write to them and tell them what you think about it. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there that go hunting, and I'm not thrilled with hunting, unless you really need to go hunting. But in this day and age, you really don't need to go hunting, okay? But there are little kids as, as young as five years old, and there's a, a saying among hunters, a lot of hunters. You know what it is? If it flies, it dies. If it flies, it dies. What are we teaching our kids when we allow them to go hunting at maybe five years old, six years old, seven years old with a freaking deadly firearm? And the kid that I'm specifically speaking about was like about 11 years old and he said he's a perfect shot and he was ordering a 357 or a Luger or some crazy firearm. And he said, what I had heard on TV before, if it flies, it dies. People, we shouldn't be going around killing every freaking species on the planet. That's arrogant. And you know, for the Bible thumpers out there, no offense, people who, you know, consider themselves that the Bible supposedly says that everything on this planet belongs to us, that the animals belong to us. I don't believe God said that. I think that was written in the Bible. I don't believe God said that. So what are we supposed to do? Destroy all the other species? Oh, they're ours. So yeah, I'm pissed about them trying to let the pigeons die. And I did something, I took action. But let me ask you, forget about the pigeons. Maybe you hate pigeons. Maybe you hate turkeys, maybe you hate chickens, maybe you hate every freaking bird. If it flies, it dies. But do you literally want to watch an animal die in front of your face and let your kids see that? And more importantly, if we don't care about animals, if death means nothing to us, when somebody does a tragedy that's been going on in this country and around the globe, so many more times lately that it's ridiculous, or these terrorists get away with the shit they, stuff they get away with. Can we really be, oh my God, <laughs> and crying and all this other stuff? If we place no value on human life or animals' lives, what the heck? I mean, why is it a shock when somebody kills somebody? If they can easily have the mentality of if it flies, it dies, that can transfer over to, well, heck, I don't have a problem killing somebody as a human. I mean, if I could kill any freaking bird or duck or freaking uh, deer or whatever, I'm not saying that hunters are any more dangerous than any law-abiding citizen. That's not what I'm saying here. But if the mentality is that it's okay to shoot and hunt anything, and somebody that doesn't know, or you don't know, happen to have some challenges mentally, how do you know that they won't be like, well, hunting humans ain't no big deal? At what, at what point do we place so much value on human life but no value on animal life. No value on animal life. Or plant life. Or nature. You know what? If the Bible does say that we have domain over everything, I love the Lord God. Yes, I love Jesus Christ. But you know what? If that's what's said in the Bible, and if even if God said that, guess what? I don't agree with it. God may get mad at me for saying that, 
I don't agree with it. I don't believe we have the right to just kill off any dang thing we want to. I don't believe it. And I think it's a disgrace and it hurts your child and you. Because if we have no respect and compassion, that we're just gonna let animals die in front of our face or kill them because they fly or because they're a deer, then let's not complain when people take us out. Let's not complain when we have enemies around the globe. Now, let me just say something else. Yes, I'm a meat eater. Yeah, I know that some of the ways these animals are processed is disgusting. So you might think, well, you're a hypocrite. No, I'm not. Not intentionally. Let me be very clear on this. I would love to be a vegan or vegetarian. But unfortunately, physically, and psychologically, I guess, whenever I eat vegetables, for the most part, I get sick. And we won't say what kind of sick, but let's just say that I cannot eat the food if you get my drift, okay? I don't want to come out and say, we all know what I mean. I can't physically eat it. It will not let me. Now, if I could, I'd become a vegetarian. I think it's disgusting how these animals are processed and used specifically for us. I mean, come on. Now, well, am, I, am I gonna tell you that Popeye's fried chicken don't taste fantastic? I'd be a liar. But I'll also be honest with you. It's not the chicken that makes, I don't really like chicken per se when I eat chicken. I like the skin, the, the, the coating, the breading. But the point is, yeah, I'm a meat eater, but I don't think we slaughter untold animals for no reason. Now, before I go, if there are any hypnotists out there who are very professional and would be willing to work with me, my email address is A-C-T-O-R-A-J-2. You press the two on your keyboard, actor AJ2 at gmail.com. Because I am very interested in somehow finding a way to bypass and get through not being able to eat vegetables. Because ultimately, I would like to be a much healthier, less weight person. And definitely healthier. I want to lose the weight. I want to be healthier. Frankly, I don't like killing these animals or having them killed for me. But you know what, in closing, you know what, here's the deal. If we can't become a better race and have humanity in us, then the truth is there's less hope for our ultimate survival. Because if God didn't write every single word in the Bible and he's not happy with us, eventually he's going to cause humanity to be wiped off the face of the earth. And for any of those naysayers out there that says, oh, that'll never happen. Did you ever hear the dinosaurs that were wiped off the face of the earth and other species that became extinct? Humanity must not become so arrogant to think that would never happen because not only could it happen, but we may be the cause of it. Because as much as we kill animals, we also kill each other. Let's stop the killing. Stop the killing. Do not kill them. Well, that's pretty much all I got to say. You know what? I may have been long-winded here. You may feel upset because of some of the things I said. But how about you take action? Why don't you call the giant eagle? I don't care where on earth you live. Call the giant eagle and complain about the fact they couldn't sweep up that. that about two weeks ago, I would say it was like, oh, geez, it was about August the 4th. No, wait, about August the 4th. Okay, they could have swept up those crack, swept up those crackers. So call the giant eagle in Homestead, Pennsylvania, at the waterfront, or email them, or whatever way. In the meantime, yeah, I'm upset. I don't like to see animals get killed or almost get killed for no freaking reason. So yeah, I'm upset. I'm not gonna lie to you. And it's been long-winded, but for now, even though humanity really don't matter to a lot of people, it does to me. 
and I'm here to help try to change it. Now, hopefully, I mean, for the better, I want us to become the greater aspects of who we can be. So hopefully, I'll eventually get to be friends with all these great, uh, you know, positive thinking people and wonderful people like, you know, um, Tony Robbins and the rest. But until then, I will do my own thing on the small level that I'm doing it. But just remember that I'm about to shut this video off. But before I do, I'm going to tell you, everybody, that you and humanity and all forms of life, which includes pigeons, really does matter.